I got 99 sunshots, but I hate it. I got none. <laughs> yeah, that was a cool video you had done there. You know, seeing all those shots put together. Yeah, my, so I don't know if you noticed in that video, if I, I'll send you a sped up version of it, right? I'll send you a, a faster version. And when you see the tail end, you look at the dates as we're going into August um, and now into September, yeah, I'm seeing a counterclockwise rotation pretty drastic so far. And I'm, I'm excited to see what it looks like at the end of the month um, because it's, it's, wagon wheeling for sure it's not the same eight to one it, not at all it's basically six to twelve <laughs> like the sunspot rotation coming from the six o'clock position up to the twelve o'clock right. it's damn near vertical that's interesting yeah i don't know what to make of it and then, you know, I'm still getting that salt, my solar noon, I'm still getting the left to right. So there, so it's almost like the wagon wheel effect has become greater, almost. I was going to say, like, more pronounced, like a quicker rotation, almost? Uh, so more of a thing. rotation, actually. Uh, yeah. A greater lo- rotation, because at the original position, 8 to 2... Now it's actually counterclockwise back a bit to where it's almost six to noon. And then it's still having to do a complete rotation to level out at my solar noon. And then so this evening, if I can get that shot, I wonder if it's going from also about the six to noon position. That would mean the rotation's greater, right? It's doing more of a rotation throughout the day. I don't know. It's weird. Maybe I'm thinking about it wrong. You know, it's one of those things you know you need to draw out because I know when we did our last kind of close sunshot that just happened by chance. Um, yeah, you know it's yeah, like yours was backwards. Weird. Yeah, it looks weird. It's kind of like you know it reversed in time, went forward in time, and and so yeah, these things. See, that's like, the thing. What time? Out. Sorry, but what time <laughs> was it? See that that's so weird, dude. Because then you got the whole time zone thing and just. Uh, yeah, it gets weird because we did it at the same time, but it was still a different time of the day for us individually. You know, it was a different time for you versus the time of day for me. Yeah, it was a different time of day. Um, but as far as if we were to convert time, those photos were only a half hour apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that, but I'm saying location wise. You know what I mean? Because you're a couple hours ahead. Yeah. So the sun was me. just rising for me. Right. So been... I wonder if, see, yeah, I don't know. It makes me feel. So mm-hmm. there's a few things. Yeah. We've got perspective is one thing. And then we have, you know, how the sun moves is another. Like there's a few factors that would definitely have to be all considered to accommodate for that wagon wheel effect. Hey, Rockcast Digital. So I got another thing. Uh, we've been shooting some sun with uh, people from kind of all over the world. And uh, this morning we got pretty close to getting a, a teamed up uh, photo shoot. And so what I'll bring up on the screen here, as you see, is going to be two images. First, I'll bring you this one. So this morning at 6.03, that was the shot from my place. And that would be at 12.03 UTC time. All right, now I'm over up in uh, kind of the western Canada, and the other gentleman's down in Florida, and got his photo at 8.36, which is 12.36 UTC time. So we were off just by about a half hour. We didn't even plan it, but, uh, you know, it's what happens when you get up and snap photos before getting the day going, getting to work, and doing the schooling. Um, So, yeah. I took an advantage, a chance here, so we could take a look at the sunspots and maybe get a better idea of what's happening uh, with this luminary. Uh, as we already know, uh, all the work that the Mellow Dome has done uh, regarding filming and tracking the sunspots, its rotations, um, for 40 days and counting, is the sunspots throughout the day will rotate in a clockwise direction, so like a wagon wheel movement of the luminary um, due to perspective as it uh, comes into our personal dome and then out again. 
Now he's also recorded the sunspots going from let's say that uh, roughly 7, 8 o'clock up to about the 1, 2 o'clock direction at an angle that rotate around the actual body. Um, so there is some dyna dynamic movements that we do need to consider regarding the luminary. And one of them that we are going to consider is seeing as I kind of got my photo off first at 12.03 UTC time, we will show you what uh, looks like right there. So this here would be 1236 UTC shot from the boat central Florida. Okay. And as I then lay mine on, which was shot earlier by about a half hour from my more westerly and northerly location, we already see that this uh, sunspot has done a wagon wheel okay so my sunspots already pointing pretty much down to eight o'clock yeah, click and draw buttons and the one from florida is pretty much pointing straight at six o'clock so we already have almost 15 20 degree kind of split going on um, over a half hour which those wagon wheel effect is probably just a little under that something that we do need to measure and look into however with mine being the earlier time why is the florida actually counter rotated like it's going back in time whoa so you know the old saying that we all have our own personal view of the sun um has some merit to it and depending on where you are you have a different view and different layout of those sunspots compared to another observer so some more stuff that we're going to dig into, uh, follow Austin, the Melodome, you can find him on Telegram as well as on YouTube and Rockfin, uh, he does an excellent job and uh, he'll be sharing some of the photos and the findings as well as we further unravel the luminaries over our heads in this realm. Hey guys, uh, here's just my sunspot simulator. So what you see is the sun, you see the sun spots, and as we advance through the day, the sun spots have a clockwise rotation to the face, the wagon wheel, right? And we can go back in time. So let's say my friend somewhere down in Florida takes a photo and it's like, so, well, here's my longitude slider. So I'm gonna move myself west. And we see the sun spots due to my perspective change if we went more east of his direction you see how they would change and of course latitude won't make much of a difference at all as far as the rotation of those sunspots so oh, we're just learning plucking away all right guys thank you again for tuning in thanks for your time Maltese Canuck out Thank <laughs> you.